And now it's time for the main event, the centrepiece of any Christmas day, the food. This year, it's my turn to cook up a storm, and I'm confident that this tech is going to make this meal mega. I just hope the boys don't mind that turkey's not going to be on the menu. Aye, aye. But before you get basting, we've got a little something for you. It's main present time for you. Oh. And it's something uniquely special. And it's big. I like yeah, it. Yeah. It's a bit too big, if you ask me. Oh, wow, look! It's my very own 3D printer. This Polaroid placemat has an LCD screen that displays step-by-step -step instructions for your 3D prints, and it weighs just five kilograms. What is it that you're actually making? So we've got a delicious roasted onion soup to start. For main, a mushroom and barley wreath. And then, to finish, some almond cigars. What about pigs and blankets? Almond cigars? Turkey stuffing. It's vegetarian. I'm just going to relax now. I'll help Georgie with it. The boys don't seem that impressed, but I'm sure I can win them over. And I'm going to start with my present. I'm going to print some pudding holders for my dessert. And we have liftoff. Now, the beauty of this, John, is that it can just be printing away as we're doing the rest of the cooking. Mm. Yes. Right, it's finally time to start cooking, and I've got to get some bread on to have with the soup. And for that, I'm using this fancy Panasonic bread maker. It has 37 different bacon dough options. Oh, so you can do brioches and naans and all that sort Pizzas, of stuff. Pizzas, yes. cakes, even pasta. But we're just going to go for the humble white loaf today. Right. So, I need 400 grams of the strong flour. It's super simple to yeast. You just add the ingredients in the right order. Yeast, yeast, where's the yeast? One where's teaspoon yeast? of yeast, One but teaspoon. it goes in the top compartment. Oh, go on, John, press the button. So I'm going to hit go. go. Please do. And we're off. Next, it's time to start prepping the vegetables. Is it a lot involved? A lot. And to save our fingers, I've got an electric chopper. But you have to chop your vegetables to put them into the chopper, Georgie. Shh, John, never mind that. Put that on there. Put that on there, locking it in. Lock it in. And it doesn't seem to work very well, Georgie. It might be getting into more of a paste rather than a chop. I don't know. Onion I... smoothie, anyone? No, thanks. I think we should move on. Right, stop. Right, John, let's use our Bon Chef digital soup maker. This multifunctional soup maker can knock up hundreds of recipes and even make porridge. Does everything for you. Let's just put in the ingredients, mm. put in your stock, it heats it up, blends it for you, and you'll have a lovely soup ready in under 20 minutes. It's more like an onion mashed potato, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, is, is that right? Right, That's just put your stock in. A good slug of olive oil in there, <laughs> whole grain mustard. This is the secret ingredient. Makes any veggie dish taste like meat. I'm sure Otis and Craig will appreciate that. And for this, we want it smooth. Right, shall we start on the mains? On to the wreath. The cheerily named. <laughs> <laughs> and the stars of my vegetarian centrepiece are parsnips. That's a better chop, isn't it? That is a better chop. Barley and some fun, guys. I thought we could cook our mushrooms on the Von Chef Twin Digital Induction Hob. <sighs> Perfect if you're running out of cooker space. I like induction hobs. They've got nearly the responsiveness of gas without all the pollution. My parsnips are done. I need to mash them up. And I've got a special device for it. It's a potato or parsnip masher. Mm. This has special blades that push the food through the holes in the side instead of crushing them, giving you a perfect fluffy mash. That's a lot less effort than using a traditional masher. Mmm, mmm, really nice. Right, let's mix everything together. The barley, mushers and parsnips go into this circular mould with some nuts, herbs, a couple of sprigs of rosemary and my secret ingredient, vegan cheese. They won't miss their turkey. Look how delicious this looks. Lots of nuts and goodness. While I admire George's meat-free choices, I'm going to cook something a little more traditional to go with her delicious vegetables. I've smuggled some turkey fillets into the kitchen and I'm cooking them on the Lay Quay microwave grill. You simply put your meat onto it and pop it into the microwave. Now, I know the thought of cooking turkey in a microwave isn't the most appetising, but this new offering from Hot Point is a combi microwave, which also has a crisp function. Fingers crossed. Right, 
it's time to get cracking with the pudding. So these days, John, it's all about experiential eating. So I Ooh, thought right. for dessert, we will bring the Tefal Acta Fry to the table. Making your gadget a feature of your meal. Exactly. Mm. OK, so we're obviously making our almond cigars. Now, I saw you fiddling away with the microwave back there. So yes. would you like to melt that butter for me I will. in the microwave? Now. Now, go forth, yes. With butter melted and almond cigars rolled, let's roll out our pastry. All that's left is to wrap them in pastry and pop in the Acti Fry for later. Time to check out my Christmas crusty loaf. It's oh, that's right good. texture. Should right texture. Throw it out. Yes. Who said making Christmas dinner was hard? That's actually not too bad. So, with dinner ready, it's time to summon the troops. Wow, look at that. Woo! Check it out! Now, we're seated like this yeah. with them yeah. down there. Nice. Because hopefully we're going to be able to wangle some turkey. Georgie won't know we <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Brilliant. Christmas dinner is served. It's here. Mm. Onion soup. Oni onion soup? With homemade bread. Oh, it's really Charles. Bread. Uh, yes, thank you, dear boy. Now, where are we sitting? Yeah, at, at the other end of the table. At the end of the table. Yeah. Oh. Grand Don't setting. worry yourself, though, because we can communicate using these remarkably small two-way walkie-talkies. Shall we do our crackers? Uh, yeah, let's pull the crackers. Good idea. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I've got a joke for you. <laughs> what did Santa ask Rudolph about the weather? I don't know. Is it going to rain, dear? Over and out. The soup's worked out very well. And it's very tasty, isn't it? Mm. 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 Really good. Mm. Mm. And we'd have to speak to them the whole time. No, we don't. I don't <laughs> hear them at all. <laughs> no. Soup success. <laughs> <laughs> time for second course. While George is prepping her wreath, I'm sorting out the wine. Warm. How can the wine be warm <laughs> and this place is so bloody freezing? <laughs> I can't wait for the boys to try my vegetarian delight. Right. So, what have we got here? It is a parsnip and pearl barley wreath. Why does it smell like that? <laughs> it smells strong, doesn't it? Has it got cheese? <laughs> <laughs> That looks like grout. What is that? <laughs> it looks like something gave up on life and turned itself inside out. Okay. Oh, that thing. smell. Uh, <laughs> is this what it what it's like being a medical student? I, I can't remember a gadget show Christmas which has been quite so uh, so pungent. <laughs> I think I may have overdone it with the vegan oh, cheese, John. Oh. <laughs> that is violating my innards. <laughs> it looks like your innards. <laughs> <laughs> that may well explain the smell, Georgie, but not the fact that it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Perhaps a touch of gravy will make it a bit more appetising. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Well, looks aren't everything. I think in the spirit of Christmas, we should at least all try it. I've got nothing against vegetarian food. I quite like vegetarian food, but that's not vegetarian food. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you. I haven't, I haven't yet plucked up the courage to try it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bigger man than me, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> no, 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 it isn't. <laughs> The problem is it seems to manage to combine some pretty revolting textures <laughs> with some strong and rather unpleasant taste. It's almost... it's... 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 Ah, oh, I think I'll have a glass of wine. Well, cheers, John. Yeah. I think maybe we had more fun cooking it than eating it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> John to Otis and Craig. Receiving, over. Could we have some salt and pepper down this end of the table? Over. That won't change it, mate. I certainly can, John. This is the ECX Barrage FPV remote control car. Put some salt and pepper on there for you. The camera at the front beams live pictures straight back to your screen. It's perfect for covert operations. Oh. How cool is that now? 
Ooh, I can use it to send my turkey stash back to the top of the table. Well, I've got a little extra parcel to send back to them. Thank you for that, John. John, you absolute legend. I hope this tastes nicer than the wreath. Oh. <laughs> What's in it? Open it. Open it. What is it? What is it? It's turkey. Oh. Let's try. Beggars can't be choosers, Otis. Gobble, 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 mate. With empty plates cleared away, it's time for a bit of Christmas put. I've got this amazing KitchenAid coffee machine that uses a vacuum process to make your coffee. So who fancies coffee? Yes. yes. You fill the bottom up with water, add your ground coffee to the vacuum bowl at the top, and Bob's your uncle. So that's now heating the water down here, which creates a vacuum, forces the water up into the coffee chamber, and you have some beautiful homebrew coffee. So while we're waiting for the coffee, what have you got in here? This is pudding. It's our almond cigars. We're going to cook it in our acti fry, which doesn't actually require any oil at all. So instead, it uses hot air. Um, so I just literally have to press start. All right. Mm. And then the hot air and paddle system should do its magic. So it's lovely and crispy on the outside and delicious and warm on the inside. And I've got an extra special treat to go with them. Brace yourselves. The spericator. Sounds painful. This clever little device turns food, in my case, strawberry jelly, into tiny little balls, the sort you get at fancy restaurants. A chemical reaction takes place. Right. So they turn into strawberry frog spawn. Meanwhile, the Actifry is uh, producing a rather pleasant aroma. Anyway, let's have some coffee, shall we? Go on, tell us what it tastes like. It tastes nice, it tastes strong, but nice. So we've only got a couple of minutes until they're done, and they're going to be served on one of these personalised 3D printed cigar holders. Nice. Obviously printed by the wonderful present you guys got me. Hooray. So thank you very much. I've really, really enjoyed using it. So, Otis, that one's yours. Thank a you. Little Christmas tree. John, you have a lovely bell. A bell. Grey theme. Craig, you have a little stocking. Yes. And I have a lovely Santa's hat. Lovely. Ooh, good work, me. And now my tiny puddings are ready to eat. Ooh, lovely. Plonk them into the, the hold of it. Perfect. So, as they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Indeed. I think You can have some jelly balls on top. Georgie, I have to say, I think you've redeemed yourself. This is the quietest Otis has been all dinner. That's good enough for me, John. OK, well, thank you, Georgie and John, for all your efforts. Let's go into the lounge and relax. Relax? No! <laughs>